Hey everybody, I'm excited. We're kicking off this web series with some R programming. In our appraisal circles, you know you've heard me talk about R programming at least once. And in this video, I'd really like to show you why it's so good to use R for statistics in real estate. So in this video, we're going to briefly make an introduction to scatter plot analysis and how it is beneficial to use. We're also going to be looking at linear regression modeling as well in both single and multivariable forms. So let's go ahead and open up our studio. As you can see here, this is an R project I have built and I use this to help perform at least eight different scatter plots per appraisal. Being able to do this quickly is really great because it allows me to perform market segmentation analysis as well as identify my comparable sales graphically as opposed to being in list form in my MLS system. So let's show you an example real quick. I have my Excel file here, and this will be my whole hood data. So this is everything inside of my market area with no refining parameters. And I can click on one of the cells in the Excel file, and I can hit Control A and then Control C very easily. And then I can just go ahead and run my R Markdown file. And in a matter of seconds, I'll have a PDF that pops up and shows me a variety of graphs. And I can do that for linear regression models uh, with different variables. And then I have the multivariable, which I can do as well. Uh, typically, I'll run this three or four times uh, per appraisal. But uh, right now, just for the whole hood, I'd like to go through a few of these graphs to just kind of show you. Here's the square footage, linear regression model. You can see how there's quite a quite a range in square footage size uh, and sales price as well. Uh, sales price being on the y-axis and square footage being on the x-axis, as well as uh, lot size too. So you can use this information to help you identify uh, market segments, different um, how, how the factors of value reflect on the sales price. Like this is a really good example here. Homes built before the year 2000 predominantly fall in this sales price range over here, while homes built after 2000 and most recent new construction vary in sales price uh, quite, quite a bit. So that's kind of important to note that when you're going ahead and looking forward to refine this whole hood data, you can use this observation right here to help you identify comparable sales and just refine your data further. Um, you're built there, bedrooms, baths, and the number of garages. And you can look at the multivariable regression, which is going to be kind of interesting because it's unrefined, of course. But um, you'll see the multiple R squared, R squared here is around 48%. And you can see the different coefficients. Uh, there's a list of them right here. And you can change all this information as well and look at analysis for different factors of value, which we'll get into that into another video. Um, so we've seen the whole hood data. I'd like to show you now actually the comparables data. So we can close that one out. We can look at the comparables data. And just like before, we can run it again. And we can actually save the R Markdown PDFs and put them in our whole hood folder. So that's easily done. And we're also recording what we did. And we have a history of our scope of work, which is really important. A lot of tools out there right now don't have a strong uh, way to show the scope of work that you've performed. And this is kind of a tool and element that I like to put into my digital work files. So again, control A, control C, you have it all there and you can go ahead and just hit the knit button and you'll get your uh, plots popping up on a PDF again, no problem. And I'm just going to go ahead and run this one at the same time so I can look at both at the same time. And it's that fast. I, I can't I can't imagine doing this this quickly using Excel or numeric or, or any other uh, cell uh, 
tool. It, this is remarkably quick and I, I can use it on every appraisal assignment. Um, so the comparables, uh, we did refine, we did use um, better parameters to help refine our information. And what I have done is I have used 1,700 to 2,700 square foot gross living area, 5,000 to 15,000 square foot in lot size. And I built, the property has been built on or before the year 2000. So you remember that before we had that, uh, well, I can actually just show you. Before in the year built, in the age of the property, you saw these new construction homes. Well, we've removed that now, and now we have just this segmentation of the market here, and we're going to go ahead and be able to refine that. So now you can see our year built, 1960 to 1990. It's a much smaller segment. Before we had above a million dollars, which reflects the best comparable sales in the market area using the traditional approach. So uh, gross living area is refined quite a bit and we don't have too many outliers. There is this one right here above 600,000. It, it's just, it's not with the rest of the sales price group, the market segmentation. Uh, so we can go ahead and refine that again and maybe this 1990 sale, it, it's not really an outlier. It's still with L within the sales price range. Um, so we can go ahead and actually refine this further. And I have and we can go ahead and just run another scatter plot. I've already pulled the data. And I already know what the data looks like using all the plots, and I'm just refining it more and more and more. Remember, we've already done 16 simple linear regression models and two multivariable models. All right. That's that's 18 plots. And now we just did another nine. So we've done 27. How long is this video now? Four minutes tops? Pretty good. So let's go ahead and look at our multivariable. Um, obviously not the greatest fit of our linear regression line, but this isn't probability data. We haven't sampled the population. This is the whole population. So your R squared influence on your model is not that big of a deal as opposed to using this in traditional statistics. So you got to keep that in mind. Um, so you can see that we've gotten rid of that outlier that was above 600,000. Uh, I refined my, uh, market area and used just the immediate area. And now our scatter plots are, are much more refined and we have a lot better idea of what our data looks like and how we can use that in our appraisal assignment. So I hope this was an excellent example to show you how powerful our programming is. And remember that I didn't write this R markdown file per appraisal. I don't have to touch this R markdown at all. This is completely copy and paste in every appraisal assignment very fast. In the next video, I'm going to be showing you how, how to get this R markdown file so that you can start using it and installing R Studio and uh, our programming for yourself. So stay tuned and subscribe, and I hope to hear from you soon. Thanks.